this young man came to us with a history of gi bleed he had child a cirrhosis this endoscopy was done on the following morning after stabilization and blood transfusions we saw small varices in esophagus there was no blood or red color sign we are examining duodenum now which is clean no blood coming back to the stomach antral shows mild congestion but nothing to suggest any ulcer and when we see the fundus we have two large varices and one of them the lower one has a fibrin plug also visible on it so we know what is the size of bleed now now we plan to inject glue in these varices we know that glue solidifies when it comes in the contact with saline so we are preparing our needles we'll flush them we are flushing them with water for injection and we are selecting a site which is a few millimeters away from the fibrin plug now you can see the needle that is emerging from the side of the scope at about uh, seven o'clock position you can see the needle now with a gentle push i have injected i have inserted the needle now we are injecting the glue our helicord is one ml per site now we have taken the needle in but the catheter seat is still in place we can see blood coming up in the needle a few expert believe this is red catheter sign and may indicate a need of further amount of glue we are holding that uh, catheter in place the important trick apart from being away from the fibrin plug is to stay put at the place for some time and we can see there is no ooze from that site and the varix look varix looks turgid and has been injected sufficiently now the other bunch which is just above this we are planning to inject this as well and for this we are taking a separate needle and again 1 ml of glue this 1 ml of glue is further pushed by 0.7 ml of water for injection because the initial injection major part of glue remains in the needle so now again we are taking out the needle with a gentle push we are puncturing the varix important is not to push too hard so that whole sheath goes inside the varix now we are injecting Mom. the glue and now water for injection to push it in now the needle is taken in we are holding stay put at that place now we will take up the sheath and what we have in the end is two nicely injected varices with no black back bleed the clues the clue is to have the patient anesthetized have the patient resuscitated anesthesia is a must and do a dry run before injecting now that we have seen we have sufficiently injected and there is nothing inside now we are coming out and we'll examine the patient again after 2 weeks